one, two, and three. Hello, welcome back to our daily podcast. We are Eduardo, Samuel, Desiree, and Valeria. And today we're going to talk about the genre detective fiction. Have you heard about it? Do you know what is it? Well, it all starts with it all starts with Edgar Allan Poe. He's considered the father of short story and detective fiction. He wrote the murders in the room more, uh, and the and he created the idea of an amateur detective. He said that the detective is a genius who solves the mystery by analyzing the facts and surroundings. Oh, and did you know this fun fact? Edgar Allan Poe wrote the murders in the room more in 1941, which is considered still part of the Romantic period. The world detective didn't even exist in that time. He created and put in into his stories. He also said that the detective is a character with accurate perception, unlimited knowledge, perseverance, which enables him to expose the criminal and to reveal the method by which the crime was committed. While the one who helps the detective is usually the narrator in the story, who has normal capabilities compared to the detective, but helps the detective to confirm his conjectures and says what he thinks about the situation. Do you know something about detective fiction stories? Well, the plot is a very important element in this one. It must play fair and be reasonable. Every detail of the plot must sustain and be hated. In these stories, the author really changes the reader to use his own power of deduction, logic, and reason. Establish that the true sequence of events and the ultimate solution. Well, I think you know a lot about detective fiction stories. What do you think about if we talk about this other amazing story called Hunted Down? Wouldn't it be great? Basically, this story takes place in the mid-19th century, during the Victorian age, and Great Britain was having a series of changes that made the UK prosperous. The story was based in real-time events. A man called Thomas Wainwright, who had poisoned his wife's stepsister, inspired the story, alongside with Dr. William Palmer, who was a serial killer that used poison to murder his victims who were their friends and relatives, and he also used insurance as a way to get money from the people he killed. Yeah, and carrying out with the setting, you may be wondering where did the story took place? Actually, a spoiler alert if you haven't read the, read the book, it took place in London, Scarborough, in the UK, while the characters were Mr. Melham, who was the one who wanted to avenge Mr. Slington, who is the antagonist for poisoning and ultimately killing his niece, Margaret, whom Melham was, love, was in love with, and then per preventing Mr. Slington from killing his uh, other niece, Miss Lider. Then there's Mr. Samson, who worked in the insurance company from where Mr. Slington was trying to get money. And he was also the narrator, and he helped to materialize the plan to take down Mr. Slington. Apart from the main characters, there are some less important characters, such as Mrs. Niner Shallow, uh, Mr. Beckwith, uh, the host of that, of that dinner, or the, or the great-haired man who had a slight limb. That's interesting. An interesting fact about these characters is that they are as icebergs. This means that we can just see a little part of them, not all. They are hiding something else. Talking again about the setting, it is very important in every story, in my opinion, because of many things. For me, it gives a lot of context, of context and taste to the story. What would it be of content down without the office or without London? Yeah, exactly. It would be another story completely different. That's why I give so much importance to the setting. Identifying the setting sometimes is difficult, that depends on the story. Yes, it depends on the story, because some stories don't give much references about the setting. For me, the most difficult part is the one of identifying the time in which the story is getting involved. Talking again about detective fiction, what is the part you like the most of this cool genre? Well, for me, the best part of this gender is how the detectives get involved in the problem and also the way in which they solve them. You need to have a lot of creativity to write one of these type of stories. 
For the best part is the for me the best part is the mystery and the intrigue that the story gives while reading. It's a very cool sensation, like if you were watching a movie. Well, for me, what I like the most is how you can also be the detective. For example, when in the story the detective and you know the same things, each one can give their assumptions according to what information the story gives you, and only until the end you can know if what you believe was right or wrong. Yes. I think that is also one of my favorite things about this genre. That feeling that you can also solve it or even solve it before the detective is something that I love and I think that's why it's one of my favorite genres. Well, it's time to say goodbye because time is getting over. Hope you like this little time we talked about detective fiction and examples. Bye and have a nice day. I agree with you. We can mess up the program. To the audience, look forward to us tomorrow. We have daily content. Take care. Bye.